Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. The Lord is opening my eyes in a vision. I'm seeing people standing, but I'm seeing their faces covered. This is what, this is what the Lord is showing me. Please, I want you to pay attention. Pay attention. The Lord brought us here to build us. You see, when the face of a man is covered in the realm of the spirit, number one, there can never be visibility for such a person. Number two, the doors of favor will be closed over that person. I'm going to minister the power of God and I want you to bring those people out. Those at the overflows can just come to their projector stand. We need to tear off that veil. Hari Sedakatusia. Now I stretch my hands, whether by the power of witchcraft or activities of ancestry, everything Kalita Paroto Subata that is responsible, bring them out, that is causing your face, that you will not be seen, is, 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 is affecting your visibility in ministry. There are people in ministry here, you have integrity, you are walking in grace. But there is a veil over your face there are businessmen there are captains of industry right now by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ i declare for such people in this auditorium and outside please bring them right now may the fire of the holy spirit burn those veils right now burn those veils right now turn it into a prayer every veil covering the glory of God upon my life it says but thou O Lord art a shield for me you are my glory he called him the lifter up of my head bring them out everyone whose glory has been covered for no matter how long you are immersed in the anointing of the Holy Ghost and it must give way now you came to church. This is the house of God. Lift your voice and pray. Thou, O oh Lord, are the shield for me. You are my glory. You are my glory. You are my glory. The lifter up of my head. The lifter up of my destiny. Hello, Kim Madonna. Hello, Hello, Kim Madonna. Hello, We are still praying. Hear me. Except God did not send me. If there is anyone under the sound of my voice that there is any kind of yoke, over your life, over your ministry, I stand by the rod of the apostolic. I stand by the rod of the prophetic. I declare judgment on strange spirits, judgment on foundation, judgment on yokes of darkness. Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. The Lava Carto Shaleka Pandos for Don Broto to see her take it up. Credegate Baracatos, Codoba Shalende Bracatusia, in the Bereto Sudo Bacatusia Cata. Oh, I decree again in the realm of the spirit, let God's people go. I prophesy an exodus over your life from every realm of captivity i'm saying it by the spirit i declare the power that will not let you go must let you go this night bring them out the force that will not let you go this is koinonia the force that will not let you go i stand by the god of heaven the god of Shashuron, that rides upon the wings of the wind i declare must let you go now the 
Lakaparike to Salibaranta. The Bible says, Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The Holy Ghost is ministering to me. There are people in business here. Every time good things are about to happen, there are forces, familiar spirits that stand to shut doors. I'm praying for business people. I stand by the unction of Jesus and I declare anyone here in business, whatever power has refused to let you advance, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, comes under fire. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Release your destiny. Release your businesses. In the name of Jesus Christ. It says, say unto God, how terrible are thou in your ways. It is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies submit themselves. Every long-standing infirmity in your body that will not let you go. Hear me. I don't care what it is called. Blood disease, genotype issues, recurrent things, eating your finances, destroying the destiny of your family. At the count of three, you will shout Jesus and there will be a miracle of healing right now all kinds of spirits that are the back of mysterious infirmities are you ready now at the count of three shout that name that is above every other name one two three shout jesus be healed be healed blood condition be healed Heart condition, be healed. Migraine, be healed. All kinds of bodily infirmities. Let me pray one more prayer. Whoever is sitting on what is yours. Between now and the end of this month, I stand by the God of heaven and by the spirit of prophecy. Please hear what I'm saying. Again, I repeat, whoever is sitting, exchanging your destiny, by the God of heaven, I declare, my God will uproot them. My God will uproot them. My God will uproot them. For all of you in front here, I decree and declare, standing for yourselves and your families the spirits behind the mysterious tragedies of your life i speak as one sent let them go now let them go now let them go now release their destinies now they came to the house of god let them go now by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah Who is this man? Come. What do you do, sir? So I was into business, but nothing is moving. You were me. into business. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. I'm not a prophet of doom. This is the house of God. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing snakes from head to toe. This is what I'm seeing all around you. The Bible, this is the house of God. If we cannot solve problems supernaturally, we are wasting our time here. Sir, I'm saying it to you in the open by prophecy. The same way you are standing here, this is the same way you will stand here. Your life will change in a way that will surprise you. I stretch my hand. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, let it open you to new dimensions. 
in the name of Jesus every legal basis upon which the devil is oppressing you and your business I come by the blood of Jesus and I declare it is over right now hallelujah who is Regina who is Regina I'm hearing a name Regina you are wearing a yellow dress Regina is there someone like that Regina who is that what's your name where are you coming from I'm coming from Jai here from where Jai you believe in Jesus yes Come. sir your family is about to experience a very strange miracle stand up listen let me tell you this believe me when I tell you people of God there are people who are sent there are people who are sent with an unction and sent with a grace it is not the anointing that is available that blesses you it's the anointing sent to you can I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ for you and for your family members right now every power that will not let you go here in the house of God I declare by the Spirit of God a new chapter opens for your family now a new chapter opens for your family now hallelujah my friend under the anointing the Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous therefore I speak to you everything that has stolen away your joy and your testimony as a family I command it to let you go now in the name of Jesus let me pray miscarriage I want to pray don't worry I'll pray for you wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name something is coming on your wife it's over now now two of you over now I'm seeing a spirit that is back of her miscarriage I challenge you by the God of heaven let her go now let me pray for you father I stretch my hands ah, I'm seeing fire leaving my hands and just coming on you everything that will not let you be fruitful is a command whatever will want you to disobey that command I open up your wombs in the name of Jesus and according to the time of life I decree and declare return with your miracle children regardless the medical report we stand by the God of heaven and we declare oppression in the area of fruitfulness come to end now in the name of Jesus Christ My life must change. I will never be the same. I got your grace. Your life must change. That's why you're here. Your life must change. Your life must change. Your life must change. Your life must change. For some of you, your home must change. Your home must change. Your home must change. Your home must change. Your job must change. Your job must change. Your job must change. Your job must change.
believe in you. Oh, we believe in you, Spirit of the Living God. We believe in you. We believe in your grace. We believe in your power. This is Mount Zion. The city of our God, the dwelling place of his power. I'd like you to lift your voice in one minute and cry for a visitation tonight. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Don't look around. Forget about who is by your left and right. Cry to the God of our salvation. Give me an encounter tonight in the name of Jesus. For everyone that has get received. Are you praying? Everyone that asked them, receive Pray, you're enlarging your capacity to receive it. You will never be the same. This is the house of God. You will never be the same. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. There's a reason why I'm raising this song. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. But the Lord is opening my eyes. I saw chains on the feet of people. That's why I raised this song. I'm seeing the number 23. I stretch my hands. Anyone under the influence of this unction, and there is a chain of darkness holding you. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Inside and outside, I want you to bring them here. In the name that is above all names. This is Mount Zion. And the Bible declares that upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. Are you ready to shout? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I break chains. I break chains. Bring them out. I break chains. Every chain that will not let you move forward. Every chain that holds you down. He must leave you now. In the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Bring them out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please just lay your right hand on your head. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Please be silent. No instrument, no nothing. Just lay your right hand on your head. I'm just seeing fire move from person to person. Just bring those under the anointing outside. There is a massive deliverance. I'm seeing horns. And the Lord is telling me that these are ancient altars that are sitting on families that will not let them go free. Some of you has been so for long. But except God did not send us, I tell you those altars will not last to this service. Just keep your hands on your head. Father, in the name of Jesus, anyone under the sound of my voice, in here the overflows outside following online if there is any handwriting and any altar partake barata bring them outside on anyone's destiny on anyone's life 
those altars catch fire right now keep your hands on your head release that family all of them release that family not just one person release that family this is a whole family on that bondage release them release them release them now release them now father mother siblings release them in the name of jesus i'm seeing a family no one gives birth fruitfulness is a challenge the lord is releasing that family right now in the name of jesus christ this is koinonia every manifestation of witchcraft exchanging the glory of anyone here so that where you should be another is taking your place i command that spirit to give way right now in the name of jesus i command that spirit to give way in the name of jesus this change that i see on people's feet it's time to release them right now you've been at the same position for many years the only thing growing in your life is your age nothing more is growing in the name of jesus i take authority over it i take authority over it hallelujah who is bethel i'm hearing a name bethel bethel will be seated shortly but this is the house of god bethel in the name of jesus christ madam I don't know who this woman is yes that one with her hand on her head madam look at me i'm seeing oil being poured on your head and the lord is saying a major breakthrough is coming to your family that things will never be the same you don't have to bring her out what's your name is she the bethel what's you are bethel madam let me pray for you there is a bethel that the lord is asking me to rebuke death from your family because i am seen obituary by the month of may and the lord is saying we must rebuke that spirit hear me anyone that digs a pit for you here i declare the earth will open and swallow them The Bible says, and the Lord of peace shall give you peace always and by all means. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. All of the Bethels who are here, I stretch my hands and I declare that the plague of death is over from your life and your family. We minister life by the spirit of grace in the name of Jesus Christ. And for all of you who are out here by the spirit, I open up every closed door right now and in the name of Jesus we release you to prophetic dimensions move to the next levels of your life next levels of your destinies in the name of Jesus Christ ah, one more time whatever will not let you go I call on my God who is also your God may he clear them out of the way may he clear them out of your way may he clear them out of your way every obstacle that will not let you advance i call on my god to clear them out of your way genesis 28 will start from verse 10 
the blessing is in verse 13 to 15 please pay attention the bible says and jacob went out from beersheba and went towards haran and he lighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night the bible says because the sun was set he took stones from that place and put them for pillows and he lay down in that place to sleep and he dreamed and behold a ladder was set on the earth and the top of it reached the heaven and behold the angels of god ascending and descending on it are you ready for the blessing and behold verse 13 says the lord stood above it and said i am the lord god of abraham thy father and the god of isaac the land whereupon thou liest to you i will give unto you and your seed yeah. verse 14 it says your seed shall be as the dust of the earth yeah. and thou shall spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south it says and in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed yeah. verse 15 and behold i am with thee and i will keep thee in all places whither thou goest and i will bring thee again into this land for i will not leave thee until i have done that which i have spoken unto you Hallelujah. Just three prayer points quickly. Prayer point number one. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I receive your word and I will run with it this year. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lord, I receive it. I receive your word as a believer. I receive your word. Are you praying, Koinonia? Lord, we receive your word. But I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded. I am persuaded that He is able. He is able. Hallelujah. 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 Prayer point number two. Lord, make me addicted to your presence this year. That I will seek you. I will seek your word. I will seek prayer. I will seek your presence. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Oh, shake it back at Lord, I seek you this year like never before. Like never before. I seek you with all my heart, all my might, all my soul. Pray revival to my prayer life. Revival to my word study life. Give me encounter, so called supernatural visitations this year. Dreams, visions, encounters with the power of the Holy Ghost that will take me to a new dimension in the spirit. <laughs> Break 
Teparatos, shake it, take the bogos, go pray the car. Empre tos, go take it, take it, take the bogos. Empros kama baba kata le kos kebere the bogos. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Prayer point number three, Lord. This year will be a year of results. I must hold on to tangible evidences. Lift your voice. Results. This must be a year of results. Outside, are you praying? This must be a year of results. There must be proofs in my life. There must be evidences in my life. Shake the broko, shake the lebo, kose bech. Empra taka 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 la bakata prada gade bala la box. Shere re 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 la bosso na 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 ba ya na ba na na ba na na ba. Miracles, signs, wonders, the demonstration of the power of God, the demonstration of the word of God. In my life, in my ministry, pray. In my business, in my education, in my family, there must be results. There must be results. In the name of Jesus, there must be results. In the name of Jesus, there must be results. In the name of Jesus, there must be results. In the name of Jesus, there must be results. Hallelujah. The Bible says, let your light shine before men that they may see it when men see there is a level of notable results you can argue all kinds of things but you can't argue results it says that they may glorify your father in heaven please i want you to pray this with all your heart father connect me to influential relationships this year just pray what i'm asking you to pray Lift your voice. Connect me to men of influence across different starter. Men who will allow me ride on their success. Men who will allow me ride on their anointings. Men who will allow me ride on their influence. Men who will endorse me. Pray. Shekete koto sekete. Oh, send thou help to Zion, O great one. In the name of Jesus, send thou help to your people. Supernatural connections that will give you in one day the labor of other people's lifetime. Man of influence in every mountain. Man of influence. In the government, men of influence. In finance, men of influence. In the educational realm, oh God, that in every area, raise men to stand for me. Raise men to speak for me. Raise men to advocate for me. Make my life easy this year. Pray, make my life easy this year. As I serve you, let there be ease in my life. I rise upon the influence of many. I rise upon the strength of quality relationships. On common access, on common doors, on common resources, on common encounters.
Hallelujah. I want to prophesy over your life. Please, I want you to believe it. Believe it. Many of us ignore the power of prophecy to our detriment. Listen, you don't, God created provision. You don't have to struggle your way by yourself. There are people that have been put strategically to help you. You can reject the help to your detriment. There are people who have traveled far and near. There are whole families in this place. Travel distances and hours just to come. Some of you are within reach. Yet you will not open up your heart. Don't let people come and receive their blessings and go back. And you are there just make up your mind. The Bible said by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. He said by a prophet they were preserved. It's not human worship. There may be exaggerations here and there, but it does not mean prophecy is powerful. It can frame your reality. Please, I want you to believe it. Prophecy is very powerful. This is the crux of the meeting tonight because it will give you direction. Listen, let me tell you how prophecy works. Look up, I know our time is gone, but let me just use one example. Come, anybody. Prophecy is like a charm. Listen, when it is spoken, it leaves as i'm speaking it's like a charm it comes upon you and creates an effect it makes things that should not have happened happen listen i told you the most superior the, of dimension of the prophetic is not the revelatory dimension the creative dimension of the prophetic is the most superior dimension the revelatory dimension is important it gives you direction and builds faith but the creative dimension is what is responsible for creating your reality. I prophesied as I was commanded. He said, and there was a sound. It's not like the sound was wrong. It was never there. Prophecy called it. Prophecy calls things that be not as though they are. Lift your hands as I speak over your life. Father, let there be results in the name of Jesus. In the name that is above all names, I speak unto you. An unusual anointing that will step you into encounters with the Holy Ghost. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. A dimension of unction that you have never functioned in in the name that is above all names I prophesy that this year you will ride upon a river an unction that will take you to superior levels in the spirit oh I command it to be so in the spirit I command it to be so in the spirit I pray for you the mark of favor that can come upon a man and produce uncommon access in the name that is above all names may that mark come upon your life right now I prophesy to you may that mark come upon your life right now may that mark come upon your life right now listen honor is an anointing there is an anointing that can come upon a man and make him honorable he says and Jabez was more honorable that anointing that makes men honorable i release it upon you right now receive that anointing for honor uncommon honor god will position men to celebrate your grace they will appreciate you they will sow into your grace I pray for you this year may the spirit of revelation illumination and insight 
into the mysteries and the operation of the kingdom i release it upon you right now oh eyes to see eyes to see i release it upon you on common dimension of access to spiritual realities i release it upon you like a mantle in the name of the lord jesus my goodness there are strange impartations strong impartations that are happening to people by the anointing of the holy ghost by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus i release impartations of this unction the spirit of revelation strange levels of access in the spirit i open to you fountains fountains of light in the spirit i open you up to mysteries i open you up to mysteries in the name of jesus i open you up to mysteries strange operations of mysteries hallelujah hear me every person who you must connect to to rise wherever they are is called the year of multiplied influence i'm prophesying to you please believe me from the north to the south the east and the west every anointing every grace you must connect to to rise I release access to you in the name of Jesus access to people access to anointings access to opportunities in the name of Jesus oh connect with influential people I release that anointing upon you receive it connect to influential people receive it right now influence influence I stand upon this apostolic office and I prophesy supernatural influence connect to people in government connect to people everywhere in the name of Jesus they will listen to you when you speak they will rise up to help you rise up for you every door that refuse to open it in the name of jesus under this multiplied grace we compel that door to open in the name of jesus every door that refuse to open every obstacle that refuse to let you go right now in the name of jesus i command that door open now open now hear me I prophesy to your loved ones this year we force results in your family hear me again this year we command results in your family may the angel that has been assigned to koinonia the angels that have been dispatched to honor this prophetic word may they go to every family and begin to cause the word of god to come alive listen some of you it will not reach 24 hours your result will start coming believe me it will not reach 24 hours your results will start coming dramatic results listen koinonia you will hear testimonies this year that will make you afraid people will come and stand here and you would think they are lying because of the breakthrough upon breakthrough upon breakthrough receive it in the name of jesus christ i bless the work of your hands this year may an anointing come upon it in the name of jesus for students i pray a level of grace and ease that you have never seen a level of superior intelligence i release it upon you right now i release it upon you right now listen this is the year of jubilee and i prophesy to you the opening of gates to every age-long challenge 
prophetically and even historically this is the season of jubilee and in the season of jubilee you let go captives i command every captivity in this season of jubilee it must let you go right now in the name of jesus christ for we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom i want to pray for you but we're going to pray one more prayer point hear me the bible says the scripture we started in give us that scripture again lamentations 5 verse 7 please quickly we want to pray and then we'll round up lamentations chapter 5 verse 7 our fathers have seen and are not and we have borne their iniquities but now if i appropriate the revelation that i've been called out of every tribe out of every tongue out of every nation i can't go to hell because i, I was born in kogi or i was born in plateau state i did ask them to do witchcraft and now that they have done it if the land is caused i exempt myself i can't be a victim of another man's wickedness listen i like you to pray with all your heart and say i begin a new order a new order dissociated from the past alienated from the witchcraft and causes and yokes by the blood of the eternal God. When only are you praying? Alienated. Every biological deformity. Every genetic deformity. Pray. Every yoke that made you S S that made you A S that gave you hepatitis. It must go tonight. The spirit of lost The spirit of failure The spirit of failure Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. This is our year of triumph. Now, thanks be to God who causes us always to triumph. I want to pray for you. Listen, let me tell you if God be God, everything that you are carrying, I don't care whether it's self inflicted, you have invoked the blood. The blood provokes the compassion of the Christ. His advocacy at the throne of the Father does not happen automatically. It happens in response to an incense sent from the earth. The same way his high priest, priestly ministry, the Bible says is in the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek did not speak until he had an encounter with Abraham and he gave him a tenth of all. I want to pray for you now because there are lives and destinies under the yoke of witchcraft. Koinonia remains an uncomfortable place for them until it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be lifted from off your neck and the yoke from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Yes. I stretch my hands right now. Hear me? I'm hearing in my spirit household wickedness and the fire of God is falling upon all who are victims of that. I stretch my hands right now. Let it be. Shabbos Kupadabash. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Inside, outside, I stretch my hands. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, be free right now from activities of witchcraft. Hallelujah. Demonic activities. Strangers coming to you in the night to sleep with you. 
men women animals and all kinds of things coming to destroy you plant rubbish in your body i pray right now in the name of jesus anyone who is a victim of every kind of manipulation in dreams caused as a result of ancestry right now in the name of jesus i command freedom i command liberty i command freedom i command liberty the blood speaks right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus i speak over everyone by the power that raised christ from the dead hear me every door that has closed over you closed over your ministry closed over your business closed over your children closed over your influence by the power that raised christ from the dead i speak to that door a father be open a father be open a father be open in the name of jesus christ the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon every destiny helper who must send for you to transit you from where you are to the next level of your prophetic destiny wherever they are i call upon the god of my covenant who is also your god between now and december 31st please hear me i prophesy to you may your destiny help us show up in your life may your destiny help us show up in your life in the name of jesus i'm hearing restoration in my spirit i don't know what you have lost some you have lost time some you have lost relationships some you have lost things some you have even lost mantles i'm praying for you now the grace that restores may it land upon you the grace that restores may it land upon you in the name of jesus christ the grace that restores i say it again may it rest upon you in the name of jesus are you ready to receive favor father i pray in the name of jesus for everyone here who believes that there is actually a grace called favor i'm praying in the name that is above all names i call upon my god the one who has shown me mercy let that grace let that mantle for favor let it rest upon you now let that grace for favor rest upon you now in the name of jesus christ can i pray for the works of your hands now listen please i was speaking to a few people yesterday and i told them something we're wrapping up i want to pray a very serious prayer for you there is a grace called the power to prosper do you know how it works there are three dimensions to the operation of that grace it comes upon your head it comes upon your hands and it comes upon your feet listen carefully when that grace comes upon your head it activates creativity and illumination and understanding elihu said there is a spirit in man 32 and verse 8 and the breath the spirit the breath of the almighty make it men of understanding then number two it rests upon your hand representing productivity that the lord will bless the works of your hands it causes the works of your hands to be desired and gravitates those who place value on what you do to locate you and to honor you then number three 
it rests upon your feet bringing guidance and direction because you can have the right thing but be in the wrong place are we together now abraham if he remained at all of the chaldeans even though he was a sincere man he would never be blessed there are times where god relocates men to their desired place are we together direction is important and guidance is important these are subsets of the manifestation of wisdom wisdom as divine direction the lord is my shepherd and because of his ability to lead and guide me i shall not want i want to pray this grace for you upon your head upon your hand upon your feet let it rest now i say it again upon your head supernatural creativity in a way you have never seen illumination understanding of things and i pray for your hand you are in business you are working you are a, an employed person whatever endeavor you are engaged in in jesus name may that grace rest upon you and finally find supernatural direction you know where to go to you are led by the spirit you will never go to a place of trouble you will never go to a place of loss you will never go to a place of decline you will never find your way to sodom in the name of jesus christ now hear me please hear me i want to pray this very sincere prayer from my heart of all the prayers and the prophetic words this in my opinion is the greatest you are about to receive i want to pray for your spiritual life that includes your prayer life that includes your passion for the word that includes your passion for the house of God in all your receiving you did not receive much if this one does not rest on you there is a grace that causes men to pray the spirit of prayer and supplication it makes you to become one who understands the mysteries of the altar and from there you will command power with God and power with men there is the passion for the word of God that causes you to desire the word of God even more than your necessary food there is a grace that makes the house of God a delight for you I was glad when they said unto me let us when there is a decline in membership within a territory something is wrong with the passion and the fire of the people therefore I want to pray for you in the name of jesus whatever has taken your spiritual life down compromises carelessness prayerlessness wordlessness lack of passion for the things of god lack of commitment to serve in the house of god by this fire by this power i find to flames your prayer altar i find to flames your prayer altar I say it again I find to flames your prayer altar in the name of Jesus receive passion for the Word of God the discipline to fast the discipline to wake up and pray the discipline to study the word the discipline to love the house of God the discipline to live for Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus let it rest upon you hear me anybody who fights you from today goes down instantly in the mighty name of jesus father let this grace come upon your people let everyone under the sound of my voice by the privilege of this grace by the miss the ministry of this angel of the lord's presence I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus that everyone under the sound of my voice at the count of three may this grace come upon you may it follow you may it produce results one two three take that grace now take that grace now take that grace in business supernatural business supernatural ministry signs signs and wonders in the name of jesus 
Let those that have hitherto Rakatos kata prekete kata I command those gates Be open hither and thither In the name of Jesus Christ Be open hither and thither In the name of Jesus Christ Hear me In the morning In the afternoon In the evening In the night Manifest the supernatural For many of you who are in ministry here, I anoint you. Go back to your pulpit. Let fire begin to fall upon your altars in unusual proportions. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that has been happening in your life by a natural sequence, we place grace upon it and we command in the name of Jesus quantum leaps geometric proportions of results where you have been praying naturally i place grace upon you may your ministry of prayer step into a supernatural dimension may your ministry of word study step into a supernatural dimension There are many of you here god has called you into the healing ministry but as it is you have not really seen that dimension the tangibility of the healing oil it has not come upon you i open this jar in the realm of the spirit and in the name of jesus like samuel unto david i place that oil upon you receive that grace now young and old man of god woman of god prophet apostle pastor intercessor receive that grace i release you into a strange healing ministry in the name of jesus can i be sincere with you there is such a thing called supernatural finances there really is such a thing the mystery of the raven that brings bread for Elijah at Brook Cherry. The mystery of the five loaves and two fish that can feed 5,000. There is supernatural finances. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. From today, in the name of Jesus, I measure a thousand cubits by grace. I push you into a deeper level of supernatural finances provide value at a supernatural dimension in the name of Jesus Christ for many of you you have been making progress but the progress is too slow relative to your destiny in the name of Jesus just help those under the anointing my goodness hear me wherever you should have been but because you did not have the supernatural advantage you have not arrived here yet i stand by the rod of the prophetic in the name of jesus between now and December 31st please hear me I stand as touching the God of my covenant go forward go forward I push you by prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ help them please go forward in the name of Jesus Christ Go forward go forward go forward in your career go forward in business go forward in ministry go forward can I be sincere with you this is the church of the Lord Jesus Christ one of the indices that measure fulfillment is progress I pray for you again 
whatever has made the pace of your acceleration slow the same grace that came upon elijah and made him to run and overtake the chariots of ahab may that grace come upon you right now And every force that we want to fight this prophecy in the name of Jesus by the privilege of God's grace he has given us the key of David the key that opens a door that no man can shut and can shut a door that no man can open we open that door and it remains open day and night we open that door it remains open day and night by the mystery of the key of David that door will never be shut day or night in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus wave your hands to Jesus as an act of worship just wave your hands to the King of Kings thank you Thank you, Jesus, for changing my level. Thank you for giving me a new story. Remember, Thanksgiving is the last digit to the faith equation. Lord, we thank you. We wave our hands in worship, thanking you. Indeed, it is a good thing to come to the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 30 and verse 9. And the Lord thy God will make thee plenteous in every work of thine hand. In the fruit of thy body, in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy land. It says, for the Lord again will rejoice over thee for good. In the name of Jesus. Therefore I prophesy, let plenty locate you. Ah, someone is receiving, let plenty locate you. In this season I drive scarcity from you. Let the covenant of plenty find expression in your life in the name of Jesus Christ Deuteronomy 7 15 the Lord will take away from thee all sickness and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt which thou knowest upon thee and will lay them upon them that hate thee therefore I decree and declare in the name of Jesus for you and for your loved ones I declare be free from sickness and infirmity <laughs> Isaiah 54 17 Isaiah 54 17 no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn therefore I decree and declare no matter how that weapon comes in the name of jesus it will not find expression in your life <laughs> isaiah 58 11 it says the lord shall guide thee continually <laughs> is someone shouting a loud amen <laughs> every confusion every misdirection in your life going to the wrong places and finding out you are just wasting time find accuracy of direction now let's finish the scripture and satisfy your soul in famine and make fat your bones that thou shalt be like a well a watered garden like a spring of waters whose waters fail not I prophesy supplies to your life in the name of Jesus Christ Psalm 86 and verse 17 give us an amplified please he said show me a sign of your evident goodwill and favor that those who hate me may sit and be put to shame listen he said because you Lord will show your approval of me when you help and comfort me he says show me a sign the sign that God needs to show in your life to bring to an end the shame and the mockery may God show that sign this week may God show that sign this week 
May my God show that sign this week in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, they looked at Elisha and they were wondering, could this be the person to succeed Elisha? He did not look like it. But when a sign came upon him, the Bible says he turned the sign was to part Jordan. And when he said, where is the Lord God of Elijah? And Jordan parted hither and thither. The prophet saw and they said, truly, the spirit of Elijah doth rest upon Elijah. I don't know what sign God needs to show in your life to let everyone know that finally favor has landed. To let everyone know that finally speed has landed. But I say again, this week, may God show that sign. This week, may my God show that sign in the name of Jesus Christ. Isaiah 43 and verse 4, it says, Since thou was precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee and people for your life. Listen. Do you know what this means? Listen to my message, the gift of men. You are as wealthy as the men God brings in your life. You are not just as wealthy as the things. When you have things, you are limited. Things cannot love you. Things cannot be there for you. When God really wants to help a man, he gives that man men. Let me speak over someone. You have things, but you lack men. I pray for you. Men, that includes helpers. Men, that includes comforters. Men, that includes financiers. Men, that includes prophetic people to speak. This week, may God bring quality men to show up in your life. May God bring quality men to show up in your life. In the name of Jesus. Finally, Numbers chapter 6 from verse 24. Numbers 26, 24. The Lord bless thee. Ah, you didn't hear that. The Lord bless thee. The Lord bless thee. The Lord keep thee. 25. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. Listen, do you know what this means? Every time you hear the face of God shining upon a man, that is favor. You find that in the life of Moses. You find that in Psalm 44 and verse 3. Give it to us very quickly. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword. Neither did their own arm save them. But thy right hand and thy arm and the light of thy countenance. That is how they became possessors. So when he says, may he make his face shine upon you, it's another way of saying, may you be covered completely with the favor of God. I pray for you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. 26. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. The last blessing right here is something money cannot buy hear me the last blessing right here is something education cannot buy the last blessing right here is something your intellectual pedigree cannot buy the bible says and give thee is a gift if you are not given you cannot have it and give thee peace listen i've told you my highest definition of success is not progress is peace no matter what else you have in your life if it is at the expense of your peace it was not worth it no wonder jesus himself is called the prince of peace he says peace i give you my peace i live with you not as the world gives there is a kind of peace that he gives you that surpasses all understanding I'm praying for you in this troubled world in the midst of the turbulence that is depressing people saddled with fear saddled with all kinds of um, all kinds of things may the peace of God be given to you this night may the peace of God be given to you this night in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
where you have been crawling I place an anointing upon you begin to fly like the eagles begin to fly like the eagles hear me whatever has covered your glory covered your visibility so that those who need you and have what it takes to honor God in your life cannot find you in the name of Jesus I tear off that veil now I tear off that veil now find visibility find visibility find visibility in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah why have you been here 38 years I have no man to help me not that the water cannot be reached I have no man where is somebody who is in need of one man one man who becomes a helper to say what is your issue oh a job see me tomorrow where is the one man who is saying what is your issue oh a visa come and see me next week i pray for you the one man sent by god to be a destiny helper to your life in this season wherever they are i gravitate them towards your destiny remember i told you prophecy is a force it's a force that reprograms possibilities in your life. In the name of Jesus, I speak over your life. Everything you have seen from January till now, that is not what you prayed for, is not what you agreed with God for, it dies now. <laughs> Hallelujah. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, whatever represents shame reproach and stagnation after this miracle service you will see them no more can i declare favor upon your life in the name of jesus i call upon ebenezer the helper of men the one who can open doors granting you unusual kindness from men unusual access and unusual acceptance may that grace come upon you now yes. hear me you are a man of God here I release grace upon you go back and do ministry at another level of impact yes. you are a businessman here I prophesy upon your business provided what you are doing is with integrity and is towards the building of men I declare prosperity upon it in the name of Jesus I pray for every home here any demonic spirit that is orchestrating to scatter any home here and cause troubles we cause it right now in Jesus name for someone my prophetic word for you is good news good news I say it again good news good news sounds sounds of joy good news in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare where you have been weary and discouraged may the Lord console you with manifold testimonies everything that has fought your prayer life let it give up on you now everything that has fought your word study life let it give up on you now everything that has fought your passion for the house of God let it give up on you now koinonia let me pray over your finances I bless you with increase go and prosper go and experience increase I prophesy acceleration go forward go forward go forward my God will keep you from trouble and my God will keep you from troublemakers in the name of Jesus I place a mark of honor upon your life wherever you go to from tonight I pray that seasons of honor be scheduled towards you you shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord the spirit of excellence is at work in you go and excel go and excel your children are blessed your spouse blessed your family members blessed your ministry blessed the 
works of your hands blessed in the name of Jesus Christ wave your hands to Jesus as a sign of gratitude Lord we give you all the praise in Jesus mighty name we pray we believe you are blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.